Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna sit down and do my makeup with you. It's cheap, I love it. So I was getting ready for a date. Look how cute this is. I need a drink. I'm getting older, I don't wanna like pull things down. We're gonna do purple. So you just get a sharper, cleaner line. This is so beautiful. I already moisturized and did skin prep. I'm gonna go ahead and start with my foundation. Go ahead and shake it up. I am in the color R230, and this is the Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation. Makeup Forever makes some of my favorite foundations. This is really great if you are in your 30s and you're starting to have like fine lines. This foundation is so beautiful. I highly recommend this for mature skin. Go in the back of my hand. The consistency is um, kind of runny, watery. It's really thin. I don't put all of it on my face. I just like dab it on and then I'll go back in. I'll do two layers. It's, it is buildable. This is the Wet n Wild Beauty Sponge. Um, it's cheap. I love it. It's so good. I'm just gonna start pouncing. And how I use these sponges is I just get it wet, like soak it under running water, squeeze it out, and then I'll get my towel and um, squeeze it in the towel just one time because I don't want it soaking wet, but I don't want to like take all the moisture out. And then I don't rub. You can see like I just bounced. The finish of this foundation is, I would say like a, it's not dewy, but it's not matte. I guess it would be more of like a, like satin. I hate those little hairs by my forehead. They get like caught in the foundation. I'm like, is it breakage or is it new growth? I never know. It, so it looks like my skin, but better. I'm gonna take a little bit more. You can see like I have red, a little bit of redness showing through. It's more of like a medium to full. It's definitely full after you do a second thin layer. I went to the salon last week got my roots done and I got a little trim. Also, I have a lip filler appointment. I haven't gotten lip filler in a really, really long time. I actually got it dissolved and I still had some left over, but I just, I've been missing. I'm not gonna do how I did it back in the day and like go overboard. I'm just gonna get a little, a little zhuzh. I'm going to film that whole experience. Um, yeah, I have been overlining my lips and I, I don't know, I just, I miss that plumpness. Again, I'm not gonna do how I used to do it. A little, next I'm gonna take my good old Laura Mercier translucent powder. This is, um, this packaging is so beautiful. I love it. And this is just their original and like a, a different packaging. I'm gonna go ahead and get a whole bunch of powder on there. And then I'm gonna take my sponge. I'm gonna take my sponge and and I love using my, the sponge that I use to apply my foundation to put my powder on. I just love, I just love it. I think it just melts into the skin better and I definitely notice a difference between like a brush or like a dry sponge. So I'm just gonna like go in. And then again, I'm not rubbing, I'm tapping. Tap, tap, tap. When it comes to foundation or concealer, I didn't do concealer today because I feel like I didn't need to. Um, 
but when it comes to foundation and concealer and powder, I always do like patting motions. So I go under my eyes, go on my forehead, I go around my mouth, and then, you know those little creases in your nose? Definitely want to get in there. I'm gonna take it down my nose. And the rest of my face, I will powder, but a different way. So, so I'm going to let that bake and then I'm going to move on to my brows. I just did my brows yesterday. I don't know what it is, but I hate tweezing my brows. So I shave like this part. I'm going to use the Benefit Brow Zings Pro Palette. Love this stuff. I've been using this like pretty much all of 2022. I used to be like obsessed with brow pencils and then I got into like the brow um, like gels and then lately I've just really been liking the powder. So it comes with different shades. This is in the medium deep. And so I like to use the darkest shade. Um, sometimes I'll use the wax that it comes with, but for this look, I want like a softer brow. So I'm just gonna use the powder. And it comes with this little brush. Don't you judge me. It's the watermelon for me. So I'm gonna start get in here, right here. I always like to start in the middle. And then I like to draw kind of like a line and then I like to push it up, up. So line up, 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 up. I don't like to take too much product to the inner part of my brow. I like to keep that softer. And then I'll run it across and kind of just drag it in. And then again, for this inner part, I'm not going to pick up any more product because I want it to be softer. And I'll take my spoolie and just run it through. It's so crazy to me how like your brows change your whole damn face. Your whole face changes like, I'm like, I'm a new woman on this side. <sighs> Next, we're gonna do the other brow. Did you guys listen to Beyonce's new album? Let's talk about it. I am obsessed. What I love about this album is that it's like funk, it's like disco, funk, R&B. It's such a fun album. If you need to clean your house, just put on that new Beyonce album, Renaissance, and you're gonna be golden. It's the perfect music to clean your house to or to get ready to. So I was getting ready for a date, it was like our 13th date I'm just kidding I don't know but same same person we're like I don't want to put a title on it you know what I'm saying like I just we're getting to know each other but at the same time I'm like not seeing anyone else so yeah anyway I was getting ready to go hang out with his friends and I listened to the Beyonce album so it's a perfect album to get ready to, or like I said, clean the house, like, or if you're feeling like in a funk. Umi came out with a new album, um, UMI. Every single song 
beautiful, amazing. I, I'm such a huge fan of her. I hope she blows up. Um, Danny Lay, love her. She has a new album. Brent Fayez. I never know how to say his name. He has a new album. My favorite song is Jackie Brown. Um, so yeah, lots of new music that just came out and I'm just so here for it. Next, I'm taking the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. I feel like I use this in every single makeup video that I make. I love it so much. It's so good. And I'm just like brushing it up to set my brows. Oh, I got it in my hair. Oh my God. My ears are red because I'm drinking White Claw. Anytime I drink alcohol, my ears get red. <laughs> it's just the Irish in me. I don't know. I don't know, man. But yeah, this stuff, if you let it dry too quickly, it will set. It's literally like hairspray for your brows. I'm gonna show you how I set this part of my face. Okay, so I'm gonna take a powder brush. It's nice and soft and fluffy. This is from Wet n Wild. Look how cute this is. 10 year old me would have lost her mind over this. I still kind of lost my mind. And it's Care Bears, like what? Love you, Wet n Wild. Okay, take this brush. And I'm gonna pull this on to the rest of my face. And then I'm also gonna just kind of tap. I have to go make my daughter something to eat because mom life. All right, next I wanna bring color back into my face. She come over for a little bit. Yes. Okay. Love you. Love you. She said yes. So I'm going to take the Benefit Kula bronzer. I've been using this bronzer for like a thousand years. Not this, this one. I mean, this is a big one because I don't know if you guys know they make like a smaller one. This is a big one, so it's lasted me a while. But go to, it's not too warm. It's not too cool. It's like, I'm really fair. It's like summer and I look like Casper the Ghost. I just, I can't be out in the sun, y'all. Like in the morning sometimes I'll go outside and I'll get some vitamin D and I'll like meditate. But I really just avoid the sun. I really do, as you can see. And I don't even tan. I just turn red and then pink and then white again. I'm gonna take this NARS, I don't know what brush it is because I've had this for a really long time. It rubbed off, but it looks like this. It's like fluffy, but kind of dense. Tap off the excess. I used to go right here where it's like lower. See where that shadow is? And lately I've been going just above that. I like to focus most of the color up here and then bring it down. And I'm gonna take it up here. My cat is eating, so that's what you hear in the background. I have really been loving doing like I, the IPL at home because I just get rid of my facial hair at home, like permanently. Because I don't know what is up but the older I get, the more like facial hair I have. I had like a whole ass hair on my cheek that I had to like pull out with tweezers. Like it was like, it looked like an eyebrow hair on my cheek. It was long. And I'm like, what the fuck is that? Cause I like the dermaplane, but I can't go like all of the time, you know? So I've been loving my Kenzie IPL handset. It really is like a dream. And then I just take it on my jawline here. And then to contour my nose, I love using, I'm cleaning it right now, 
this is my makeup shirt so like i don't know if you guys do that but like i'll clean my makeup brush on my shirt but it's like my makeup shirt like i put this on to you know to do this i should probably just clean my makeup brushes this is a doja cat and bh cosmetics this is an eyeshadow brush it's an angled eyeshadow brush i'm gonna take that same hula benefit so what i do to contour my nose is i'll just take it down the side I feel like I have a weird nose, so I have to be like careful because I have like a bump on one side and then the other side, there's not a bump. It used to be a huge insecurity and now I'm just like, whatever. But yeah, I'm gonna go on the sides of my nose. I don't like to rub too much because I don't want to mess up my base. So I'm just gonna pat and then I like to make like a circle. So after my nose contour, I'll take my sponge with whatever product is left on it, and I'm just gonna go over with that same Wet n Wild brush. I use this for powder. I, I like using this one for blush. Natasha Denona Duo Glow Blush. This is in Rayo. So beautiful. Not on the apple of my cheek, because I'm getting older. I don't wanna like pull things down. So I'll go just above up here because my apple is like right here, but I don't, again, I don't want to go down. This is probably one of the prettiest blushes I've ever used in my entire life. And then with whatever's left over, I'll just like dust my forehead and go on my nose just to like bring the color back in and then i'm going to take my becca highlight in pearl i'm going to take this moda pro brush i've been using this highlighter brush for years it's my favorite i need to clean it i'm just gonna go in and then i'm gonna no she's not doing well she does but she's making a youtube video she has over a million and I'm just going right on top of this highlight is so pigmented. Sometimes I'm like, calm down, calm down. It's intense. And then the tip of my nose, because why not? And now we're back. I'm out of breath because I literally ran in there and then I ran to the laundry and then I ran to you guys. I need a drink. What are we gonna do? So while I was going pee, I figured out what color eyeliner we're gonna do. We're gonna do purple. This is the Too Faced Killer Liner in the shade Killer Queen. And this is their 36 hour waterproof eyeliner. I don't know who's gonna have eyeliner on for 36 hours, but I mean, you never know, right? So I'm gonna just warm it up a little bit on the back of my hand. Anytime I use pencils, I like to do a little test a on the back of my hand. And then I'm gonna go in. No eyeshadow. If you want, you can do like a crease color. I kind of like, like how my lids are looking right now. So I'm not gonna touch them. And I'm just gonna look, when I do eyeliner, I like to hold my mirror a little low, lower. And I like to look down into the mirror Okay, great. And I'm just gonna go in. I like to do short strokes. And I wanna take this to the inner corner. Okay, so I'm not gonna do my wing with this. I'm gonna get an angled eyeliner brush and I'll, I'll show you. So I'm just gonna get my outline of my eye. So next I'm gonna take an eyeliner brush. This is the ColourPop E6 brush. Love this thing. And I'm gonna get my shirt and I'm gonna pinch it so it's like nice and flat. And then I'm going to take my eyeliner and I'm gonna run the eyeliner onto the brush. I'm gonna get it on the 
kind of on the sides too. And then I'm gonna hold it. It needs to be angled like this because that's the shape that we are attempting to create. So I'm just gonna like do this, bring it in, and then do my wing. And it's just easier to do pencil if you want to like use your pencil to wing your eyeliner. So you just get a sharper, cleaner line when you do it that way instead of trying to use your pencil because it's harder to get that definition. And I recommend using eyeliner pencils that are creamy. So like the Too Faced ones, Revlon has like their color stay eyeliners. They're great. Urban Decay. I feel like not all eyeliner pencils are super creamy. Some are kind of like tough and hard. And so by the time you get it on your brush and you try to do your wing, if it dries down too quick. With that said though, because it's waterproof, this formula is waterproof, and so is so are the Urban Decay and Revlon Colorstay. They do dry down quickly, so as soon as you get that product on your brush, you want to go in right away. You don't want to like sit and diddy daddle. You want to like put it on the brush and then go in. Next, I am going to go in with mascara. I love the L'Oreal Lash Paradise mascara. I've had this one for a while, and so like it's it's done. So it's dried out can't use it but guess what your girl got another one new one isn't it so satisfying when you have like a fresh mascara this reminds me of the Too Faced better than sex mascara if you like that one you'll love this one it's pretty much a dupe oh this mascara is so fire That's one coat. There's some mascaras that I'll put like three coats and they, it won't even look like this. Okay, so one coat. I'm gonna wait like 30 seconds and then I'm gonna do another coat. <sighs> Going in for round two. If you let it dry too much, then it won't work. It's just like finding that sweet spot of time. Okay, I'm gonna do the other eye and then I'm gonna come back and do my lips. Okay, so for my lips, I'm gonna use the Smashbox Prime Rose Lipstick. This is so beautiful. So pretty. Okay, this is the finished look. I have the phone charger. I really like how this turned out. I love a nice like little pop of color with like a rosy lip. My goal here is to encourage you guys, you know, to do self care, to do your makeup, to do your hair. So hopefully this inspires you to play with some makeup, play with some color. If you guys do decide to recreate this, make sure you tag me over on Instagram and I'll be happy to share. If you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. It shows me that you care. And until next time, Oh, <laughs>